everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am the Electrical Latina and today I have two of Electric's most popular models, the XP 3.0 and the Electric Light 2.0. Now, these are the latest models of each with the XP being the most popular, being the third most popular electric vehicle in America and the light being super popular with RV enthusiasts and college students all around the country. Are you wondering if you should buy the electric XP 3.0 or the electric XP Lite 2.0? Well, there are advantages and disadvantages to both and you probably know that you can save $200 by getting the XP Lite 2.0, but is saving that money worth it? Stay tuned to find out in this review, Electric XP 3.0 versus the Electric XP Lite 2.0. Now, I have full reviews on each of these models and they both have their pros and cons. So let's dive in so that we can figure out together which one is best for you. I will be comparing their biggest differences in features. We're gonna find out which one offers the most value for the money. And please subscribe to my channel as it helps me tremendously and so that you can watch more reviews like this one. But before we dive in, let's roll the intro. First, here are the top differences between the two bikes, starting with the motor. The XP 3.0 comes with a 500 watt motor that peaks at 1000 watts, while the XP Lite comes with a 300 watt motor that peaks at 819 watts. Now, this motor comes with the Stealth M24 technology that makes the motor 400% quieter. I don't think this technology is on the 3.0 just yet. Now, the controller on the 3.0 is a 20 amp controller, while on the XP Lite, it's a 15 amp controller. Then the battery, both of them are integrated, 48 volt, 10.4 amp per hour battery, while on the XP Lite, you get a 48 volt, 7.8 amp per hour battery. The 3.0 gets a range of 45 miles while the electric XP Lite gets a range of 40 miles. So that's like a five mile difference. Keep in mind guys that both of the batteries can be upgraded. So for $200 more, you can get, I actually do have the long range battery in here, a 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery. And on the XP Lite, you can get one up to, yeah, also to 14 amp per hour battery. Of course, they both require extra payment. And then, oh, also guys, keep in mind, both of their batteries are UL certified to 2271, and also they are certified to UL 2849 that covers the entire electrical system of both e-bikes. The torque on the 3.0 is 55 newton meters. On the XP Lite, it's 28 newton meters. Now the XP 3.0, it's going to have more power and a faster acceleration. Okay, so top speed. This one is a class three, so top speed with pedaling, 28 miles an hour, but with really hard pedaling, I was able to get it to 31 miles an hour. This one is a class two, so it peaks at, tops out at 20 miles an hour and you can pedal your heart out and it's not going to give you any more speed. Unfortunately, that's a bummer to me of this one. Now, the speeds. So let me show you this one has seven speeds, Shimano seven gears right here. While the other one, the XP Lite, only has one gear as you can see right there. Now, let me show you the suspension. On the light, this is just a front fork, so there is no suspension. And on the 3.0, you get a hydraulic front suspension with preload and a lockout, and it has 50 millimeters of travel. The tires, 
These ones are Navi, 20 inch by 3.0 inches. This is going to provide better grip for off-roading and more comfort while riding, because it's a bigger mass right there. While on the light, these are going to be also 20 inches, but they're a little skinnier at 2.5 inches, and you get a street tread with this one, more meant for off-road, for, sorry, for pavement riding. Now, let me tell you about the frame options. With the XB 3.0, you get both a step through like this one, it's super accessible, and you also get a step over, but they both have pretty low standing heights. Now, the XB Lite 2.0 only comes with a step over, but again, it is super, I mean, it's pretty low to the ground. I think the standing height is only 22 inches. I'll put it up on the screen. The, uh, the XP 3.0 only comes in two colors, while the XP Lite comes in four different colors that are very poppy and very fun. I really like the options here. Now, the weight. Oh, something else about the frame. The 3.0 comes with fenders, metal fenders, and a rear rack. It can even carry up to 150 pounds, and there's a whole package where you can add a second passenger right here. And the XP Lite is bare bones. You would need to pay extra to get those upgrades. You can get a rear rack, a front basket, but you cannot carry a second passenger back here. Now, the weight. This guy right here, the 3.0, is 64 pounds, and the XP Lite is 49 pounds. So now, Carrying an e-bike, handling an e-bike under, under 50 pounds, it's a lot more manageable. It's easier to travel with. It's easier to throw in your car and travel with. It's easier to store if you live in an apartment and stuff. Now this one at 64 pounds, oh, and this one like, with my opinion, one person could like lift it up onto the car. At 64 pounds, I wouldn't be able to carry it and lift it up to my car. It, it would take a second person. It's longer, it's heavier, and it's just unwieldy to carry. Now, price. The XP 3.0 is $9.99, while the XP Lite 2.0 is $7.99. So they are both great and affordable e-bikes, but if you're on a budget and you want to save the most amount of money, $200, this is the guy for you. It's not going to disappoint you. Now, I'm going to show you how both e-bikes fit me, okay? So, XP 3.0, I have the seat to the highest. So, for even taller riders like myself who want proper leg extension, I would like to see Electric giving us a taller seat post. But it almost fits me with a, with a leg extension that I want. Almost, it's close. So I'm still tippy-toeing. If I put this foot right there, but then it's super comfortable. Like this does fit me really, really well. And then my distance, my torso to the handlebars, very comfortable. And then you do have adjustability here in the handlebars. Like it, it's, it's perfect for me. Sometimes I'm, I ride it all the way down for a more aggressive position, although it's still pretty upright. And sometimes I'll, I'll just lift them a little bit. Okay, so that's a 3.0. Let me put the kickstand down. And now the XP Lite. Okay, so this one, unfortunately, the seat post is even short, much shorter than on the XP 3.0. So I definitely don't get proper leg extension here super easy to mount and then so my distance the torso to the handlebars it's perfect too for taller riders long arms and then you do have some adjustability on the handlebars i would like it to be a little bit more like on the 3.0 for taller riders i could definitely use a little bit more height there but see my, my foot is like bent and completely flat that's not the best for for pedaling but yeah, I mean, right now standing without pedaling, it feels like it fits me pretty well. Very short stand over height. Both of them are really accessible in that regard. All right, so here we have a John, five foot six person rider. And we're gonna show you how the XP 3.0 fits me right now. Okay, so throwing his leg. So yeah, I did 
uh, lower the saddle for him. That it looks like a great fit for him. Yep, super. So he still could probably race it for a better pedaling position. And now on the XP light, maybe it's a little long on his arms. Do they feel long, John? Wow, look at that. Well, he can always lower them too. But yeah, fits him really, really well, like a glove on the light. Thank you. Let's go do a test now. I want to show you how each of these bikes compare in action, what their performance is against each other. We're going to be doing a zero to 20 mile an hour acceleration test, a hill test, an off-road test, and I'm going to show you how this bike rides with a 150 pound passenger on the back. So let's go have fun. All right, so I wanted to start with some uh, riding impressions of both of these e-bikes. So starting with the XP Lite 2.0, just so you guys can see how it handles, how it fits me. Again, I'm 5'11", 32 inches. I'm gonna get next to John so he can show you like my pedaling. So look at this guys, like the, the seat is at its highest and I am, it's just, yeah, my legs are just so bent over. If I was, going to ride pedaling like this for like a longer ride my knees would end up killing me so it's it's not healthy for your knees to do this now of course for taller riders you can throttle around this bike but look like my knees are still pretty bent over even if I'm throttling around I'd rather have them a lot less bent so I mean that's a preference thing but to be honest, it feels more like a kid's bike for me. It's, like, it's, it's pretty small, but I do love the way it handles. I'm gonna do some zigzags so you guys can see. It is so nimble. It's so nimble, guys, and agile. Street tires here, like, whoo, 2.5 inch tires. Yeah, I mean, and it, the, the steering is so light. It's really fun, like, we're gonna do a turn right here, and I wanna show you, I mean, a curve. I wanna show you how it turns right here. Okay, one, two, three, and turn. Yeah, quick, agile, awesome. And it definitely has some pep because the motor peaks a lot higher. So, and then, you know, no suspension. If you're in a smooth surface, it doesn't matter. But once you start getting more cracks and bumps, you start meeting, uh, missing the suspension for sure. But yeah, pretty peppy. We're going at 20 miles an hour, which for short trips, I think the speed is it's, uh, more than enough. And I love the brakes. John, I'm going to brake right here. Excellent brakes, guys. One, two, three, and brake. Oh! I love the screeching stuff. It's so satisfying. Now, riding impressions on the XB 3.0. So, it immediately feels a lot faster than the light and the acceleration and everything. It also feels very nimble. Now, let me show you how this one fits me. So, pedaling. There you go, John. Yep. So, I have this saddle all the way up on this one. It's pretty good extension but i could use a little bit more to be perfect but i can probably still pedal like this and not get any knee pain like this okay so yeah just but it's an easy fix i mean just get it's just annoying right to have to get something else as a tall rider and then the handlebars like look they, they're so comfortable right there i have them lifted a little bit it's perfect I do love the width of Electric's handlebars. Oh, let me show you a tight curve right here. See how it turns. Oh my gosh, so good. Now I'm going to do a six axe behind John. Feel the handling there. Oh my God, it's so nimble too. The steering feels pretty light as well. Just not as light, of course, or as nimble as with the light. It's, uh, keep in mind too it's a much more lighter e-bike thinner wheels but yeah pretty good this is a really comfortable bike with a front suspension 
And then I also have the comfort package, which is a large saddle and suspension seat post. But uh, it usually costs extra to get those things. So yeah, I mean, I feel like with this bike, I can go on like really, really long bike rides. Actually, I'm thinking about doing a range test for you guys and it's gonna be comfortable. It's like gonna be no problem. And then, okay, I'm gonna go up ahead and we're gonna try the brakes on this one. I'm going to brake, John. Huh? Okay, one, two, three, and brake. <laughs> it's such good stopping power too. I think the light stops even harder because they just upgraded the rotors to 180 with hydraulic disc brakes. And uh, this was are also 180, but keep in mind that's a much lighter e-bike to stop. So, but no complaints with the brakes. Like they both stop perfect. Guys, this is the acceleration test, zero to 20, electric XP 3.0, pedal assist five, chronometer, one, two, three, go. <laughs> Oh, okay, took like a revolution for it to kick in. 16, 18, and A! Woo, that felt fast. Acceleration test, zero to 20 on the XP light. Chronometer, one, two, three, go. Uh, come on, oh my gosh. Okay, it's going now. Oh, pedaling as hard as I can, 15, 16, A! Woo! Wow, that felt fast. Guys, and I even saw 21 miles an hour. Pretty darn good. All right, guys, so we're going to be doing an off-roading race. I'm going to be riding the XP Lite and John, the XP 3.0. And we have, we're gonna start exactly at the same place on the ground. We're gonna go all the way straight and then on the way back, we're going to switch bikes, okay? So XP Lite and XP 3.0. You ready, John? Okay. One, two, three, go! Oh, <laughs> of course, the 3.0 takes off way faster. I'm gonna pedal to see if I can beat him. Woo! <laughs> I'm beating John! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, he's not even working hard. We're going straight to a little truck right here. <sighs> oh my God, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Okay. Ah! XP 3.0 wins. Not by a lot though. Pretty impressive. All right. Now, same distance, same place, but we switch bikes. John is on the XP Lite. I am on the XP 3.0. Okay? Ready, John? Ready. Let's go. One, two, three, go. It's a race, so yeah. The 3.0 takes off fast every single time. Oh, and I am mo demolishing John on the, <laughs> on the light. Oh, here he comes with a vengeance. Oh, John wants to take the 3.0, but I'm not gonna let him. <laughs> oh my God, it's pretty bumpy too, guys. Oh. <laughs> Woo, oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stop and show you. That's where John is. So I probably beat him by like four e-bike lengths. John, you needed to pedal harder. <laughs> All right, this is the timed hill test. Electric XP 3.0. The degree of this incline is 15 degrees. I just measured it with my inclinometer, okay? Chronometer, we're gonna start at the same distance with this one and the light. One, two, three. Go, throttle only. <laughs> Woo. Eight, nine miles an hour. Eight, seven, oh, six miles an hour. Stop. Woo. All right, guys, now I'm gonna go get the light for you and see how fast, time at the top, how fast we can go on that one. I might have to help it with pedaling, guys. We'll have to see. So, all right, same thing. Gonna turn it on, put it to pedal assist five. And like I said, we might have to help it. Okay, chronometer, one, two, three, go. Oh yeah, much slower acceleration. Seven, eight, 
seven, now it's going down. Yeah, I'm gonna have to help her, guys. Oh, five, four, stop. <laughs> Woo, went down all the way to three, but hey, little help, but it made it. It's a pretty steep incline, guys. Huh. Very agile, going down, excellent brakes, like we've said, and yeah. All right, guys, we're going to do a hill test. I'm going to be racing against John in the electric XP Lite 2.0, and I'll be on the XP 3.0. This is like a 10 degree, more or less like a 10 degree uphill. I know it's hard to see on the GoPro. Pedal assist five, and we're gonna go as fast as we can. Ready, John? And you're gonna be telling me your speed. One, two, three, go. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, vámonos, vámonos, Josita. And tell me your speed, John. All right, so 60 miles an hour. How fast are you going, John? 18. Wow, he's going 18. Oh, now I'm going 18 miles an hour. He is like one, two e-bike lengths behind me. What's your speed? 20. And 19 and stop. Yeah, so John was only two e-bikes behind me and you were able to get it up to 20, right? Pretty good. All right, now we're going to do a hill test. This time I'm on the light and John is on the 3.0. And same thing, we're gonna do pedal assist three. Ready, John? Ready. One, two, three. Go. Go. <laughs> oh, yeah, took out hard. Okay, I'm gonna pedal now. And I'm gonna see if I can keep up with John. <laughs> Woo! I'm standing up on my, on my, on the pedals, guys. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can you see John next to me? <laughs> Half a bike! <laughs> ah. Oh my god! Of course, the exit point oh one, and oh my god! I think we both have pretty strong legs. My legs are burning. To sum it all up, if you're going to be riding a lot longer distances, go for the electric XP 3.0 because it's more comfortable, it has longer range, it has more functionality with the fenders and the rear rack. You can carry a lot of weight back there, 150 pounds. You're also going to get to your destination a lot quicker, okay? So if you're looking for something very simple, short distances, if weight is paramount, go for the electric XP Lite 2.0. If you need a bike to just carry around to travel with, this is your ticket, okay? So in the end, both e-bikes are great and either is going to serve you well, it's just going to depend what you're going to use it for. And in my opinion, the weight is a big factor. So this is a lot lighter, right? Another important consideration, if you're taller than 5'11", go with the XP 3.0 the light is going to be way too small for you. Okay, so now for the verdict is that the XP 3.0 offers a lot more value for the price than the electric light XP 2.0. In the end, which evac you go for is entirely up to you. Guys, thank you so much for chiming into another one of my videos. I always love making videos like this one for you. I will be seeing you tomorrow back for another video. I will also leave an affiliate link that you can purchase either bike if you're interested and it will greatly help to support the channel. Always remember, whatever you're doing, happy riding!